Hold that. Are you gonna record it? Why not? Yeah. Dude. Someday someone will be looking for it. Initial machine check it out for which is called the Omita. Shag Drager. She's a Drager. Omita, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's Omita. Make sure my backup ventilation systems are available and functioning. My ambu bag is available and functioning. I have a mask right here and enough recoil, so if I need to emergently ventilate, if my machine fails, I have that option. Uh, I want to check my backup cylinder PSI and flash pressure, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I should read about a thousand PSI on the uh, cylinder gauge. Uh, minimum is a thousand. Right now it's reading about two thousand, so I'm good. I'll go ahead and close it. Uh, let's flush that excess air out. Now I'm going to check my uh, my main line air supply. Check on my hoses are connected. Yellow is for air, blue is for nitrous, green is for oxygen. I'm going to make sure it's connected to the wall slash tank. Crack it open. My uh, PSI is 50 on my pipeline gauge, so I'm good. Now I'm going to check if there's any leaks in my low pressure systems. So what I'm going to do first is see if my uh, bulb valve will stay deflated when I occlude it, which it does. I'm going to go ahead and detach the fresh gas oil pipe or hose. Attach my bulb suction to the common gas outlet. Make sure all my uh, flow meters are off, my vaporizers are off, machines off. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it and see if it stays deflated for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's no leaks. Now I'm going to turn on each vaporizer. So I'm going to deflate it again. Make sure it stays de deflated for 10 seconds when I turn on my halothane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. That's good. Deflate my bulb suction. Turn on my dust flooring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. So there's no leaks in my low pressure system. Reattach my bulb. Reattach my fresh gas hose to the helmet. Turn on my vent. Turn on all the power and whatever electrical components that needs to be turned on. Looks like that's all the electrical components that needs to be turned on. Um, I'm going to check if there's any, check for smooth operation of each of my flow meters. I'm going to dial up each gas all the way up, all the way down, checking for adequate flow, checking for any leaks in my flow meter slash tube. Looks like my nitrous is good. I have enough flow and there's no leaks. And my oxygen is good. I'm going to dial it all the way up to 12 liters. Just smooth operation of the floats. And there's no leaks in the flow tube. So I'm going to dial that down. Next, I'm going to attempt to make a hypoxic mixture with only nitrous, which I can't because my oxygen goes up whenever I go up on my nitrous. And the ratio is about 3 to 1, and there's no alarm that set off the hypoxic mixture, so that's good. I'm going to check my scavenger system. First, I want to see if my APL valve is connected to my scavenger, which it is, and check my ventilator relief valve functioning and set my uh, waste gas vacuum to the adequate parameter. So what I'm going to do now is go on a low flow. Let's put it at 2 liters a minute. EPL is open. going to occlude. And I'm going to see if my, uh, my pressure gauge reads at zero, so there's adequate vacuum. And the bag slowly deflates. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flush it just to make sure that the gauge reads below 10 centimeters H2O, which it does, and that indicates a good vacuum of the waste gas. Perfect. 
I'm gonna check my uh, O2 sensor. This is the sensor right here. Exposed into room air. And I'm going to calibrate it. And I'm gonna calibrate it to 21% because that's how much room air is. Calibrate. It's at 21%. So it detects room air well. Put it back inside the oxygen sensor port. Hit fresh gas. I want it to read above 90%. Which it does, it reads 90%. So my sensor checks out. Now I am going to check my breathing circuit. So first I'm going to hit, make sure it's on that bag, which it already is. And see if there's any obstruction in my lines. There's no obstruction. My CO2 absorbent is nice and white. So it's not desiccated. If I, I don't see any peep, but I'm going to pretend my peep is right here, attach that, and uh, test my humidifier if I had it, which I usually would. I check for leaks into my, in my circuit now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my ATL valve, make sure my gas flows are still minimum, or zero. I'm going to include the Y piece, and I'm going to hit the fresh gas flow button up to 30 centimeters H2O and make sure it stays in play for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guarantees there's no leak in my circuit. I'm going to go ahead and open up my APL valve to release pressure, see if it releases it smoothly, which it does. So my circuit is checked, there's no leak. Now I'm going to check my ventilator. I'll attach my simulated lung. I'll switch to switch the ventilator. I'll flush the circuit. Make sure my bellow inflates, my simulated lung inflates, and I turn on mechanical ventilation. I'll set my tidal volume to 500, set my rate at 20. And I want to make sure that my bellows are functioning properly with no leak. When it goes down, that's inspiration. It goes about to 500. And on inspiration, my bellows will go up, which it does. And I have good resistance in the lung. That checks out perfectly. I'm going to set my gas flow or my oxygen to 5 liters. Try to double check again. Got enough resistance in my civilian lung and enough tidal volume. My unidirectional valves are functioning. My inhalation unidirectional valve opens upon inhalation. My expiration unidirectional valve opens upon expiration and closes during inspiration and vice versa with an inspiration valve. So just double check that. Checks out fine. Now I'm going to check my bag ventilation system. So what I'm going to do, my O2 is already at 5 liters. I'll go ahead and turn off my vent. It's off. Open up my APO valve and see if my lung inflates with the correct resistance and pressure. Exhalation. Inhalation. Exhalation. And the correct uh, pressures are pretty good. Now, so my, I want to check my alarms. So I'll take off my simulated lung. Uh, first, I'm going to check my capnograph. Twenty-nine. So I think I'm a little hypocapnic. Check my SAO2 probe if I had it. Checks out. I'm going to check my spirometer, the spirometer alarm. I'm going to check my high, uh, high pressure alarms, my low pressure alarms. Checks out too. Now for my final check, make sure that the switch is on bag, APL. I want to make sure my APL valve is all the way open. I want to make sure my flow meters are all the way off so I don't desiccate the CO2. Absorber. I want to make sure my vaporizers are off.
finally, you don't want to waste electricity, just turn off the machine. If I had a Yanker suction, I would check that too, if it's connected to a wall. So that's the, uh, I don't even know, Omida checkout.